Hi guys, Paul and Tasha Scale Modeler. Welcome to another review. Um, what we've got today, we've got the Badger Battery Operated Paint Mixer. Uh, I've owned one of these for a while and finally got my hands on one a few weeks back. Looks a handy tool, so a few people are using them. Uh, I thought it was about time I got one as well. So, obviously, battery powered, we'll open it up. Uh, not much in the box, we've literally got a bit of bubble wrap, the actual paddle itself and the instructions, so we'll quickly go for the instructions so two AA batteries which ironically I very handily have right next to me uh, to insert the batteries in the mixer slide the end cover off and set the batteries as shown on the side of the mixer insert mixing rod into the body of the mixer make certain mixing in opposition before insert a mixing rod mixing rod sorry uh, insert mixing rod into jar of paint do not turn it on until the rod is in the jar well yep yeah, that's fairly obvious and slide the thumb switch to turn on the mixer. Do not remove mixing rod from the jar until you turn the mixer off, this will prevent splatter. Soak clean cloth in proper cleaner and wipe mixing rod clean. Okay. Uh, keep mixing away from face. Remove batteries not in use, not recommended for children under 12. Okie dokie, so fairly inst simple instructions. So we've got the actual body itself which is wrapped in bubble wrap. We've got the Badger um, logo on the side. And, yep, yeah, we have a battery compartment on the end, so we'll pop these in. We've got, on the side there, uh, keys, which are where the batteries go around. It's got some AA batteries, which will pop in. That should then fire up. Which it does, as you can hear. And then we've got the paddle mixer, which is just a basic metal paddle, which is angled at the bottom, chamfered. And then it says... Ah, there we go, it just fits in. So there we go, as simple as that. Can you do different speeds or is it literally on and off? Literally on and off. So there we go, so there it is all assembled, batteries in. Like I say, it's not it's the it's not exactly the nicest looking of things, but it's purposeful rather than cosmetic at the end of the day. Now I was gonna pick a nice acrylic paint. To mix but acrylics don't thin or you know uh, separate that much so what I did I got a nice bottle of model master enamel which as you can see has thin terribly because there's the acrylic underneath you can see all the thinner on top so we're going to give it a go in this hopefully I'm not going to get covered in it I'm not even going to bother shaking it we'll take the bottle lid off and as you can see it's separated to hell in there so this is going to get a real good paste in now and we'll see just how well it performs I'm going to zoom us in I think I'll zoom us in on the side a little bit as well. There we go. We'll keep it there. And we'll see. Try and keep my hand out of shot for you. Yeah, it's definitely full of uh, paint at the bottom. We'll give it a good go around and we'll see just how well we can mix that paint up. Now that's probably mixed by now. I was tempted to uh, give that a quick blast, but I don't think we will. So obviously you're going to get a bit of paint on the top. Obviously the less full your bottle is, you could just give that a, a whop around inside to get rid of the excess paint. So we're just going to wipe it off. Wipes off nice and easy. Now what I would do, I have a little jar that's next to my paint booth, which I use to clean off brushes, paint stirrers, and as you put a little bit of water in there, or screen wash, or a bit of RUMP thinner, uh, cleaner rather. As you can see, that's nicely mixed now. The colour's even all round, as you can see. It's Russian underside blue, which you would never have known from looking through the top before, because as you saw, it was absolutely separated to hell, but as you can see now, that is perfectly mixed. You can see a little bit of foam on the top. And that is ready to use. So that's just rejuvenated. An old bottle of enamel paint that's probably stood there for a, quite some time. Separated itself. And I probably did double the amount of time needed with that. To actually get that going. And there you go. Perfectly mixed paint. Now what I was just saying then. I always have a little bottle next to my um, airbrush. That when I've used brushes or have cleaned off with... Um, these little things in fact are sitting in there right now so if I was using enamels all the time I'd probably have one 
with um, enamel paint cleaner in there but I'm not at the minute so I can't go and check it in there but what I will do, I'll use a little bit of cellulose on a cloth and we'll clean it up because obviously I don't tend to use enamels that much but I thought it was a good demo to show just how well it cleans which you cannot fault that at all and there we go we're probably 90% clean so there you go a nice simple tool they cost I believe it's £12 I think it's £12.98 and again I got this from martinaircraft.net all the Quailora stuff off Martin all the time um, saw this along with um, the fine pressure control valve which I'll review in a couple of weeks for the harder got them together and I thought you guys might have to see it's a simple review, very short review it's a simple tool but it certainly does what it says it does on the uh, the product itself and on the box um, I think this have a lot more uses than just a paint mixer you could make, you know, you could thin your uh, thin you could mix your oil washes with it, you could uh, you know, mix your UMP washes with it, you know, it's got a multitude of uses things like, I'm just looking around my workshop now, Mr. Surfacer, to give that a good thin, stick it in give it a whiz round, it's going to you know, really mix it up well, you've just seen how well it mixed up that enamel paint that you know, couldn't be any better an advert for it, so multitude of uses I'm sure I could find plenty, you, know, you could even use it in your coffee if you wanted um, but there you go, £12.98, looks a well made tool there's no little tiny little bit of vibration, but given the length of that uh, mixing rod, there's no real bother at all. So this should last quite a while. I know a few people have got these, and if you're looking for a paint mixer, send again. Look at this. I can see again a lot of use for myself, um, for a multitude of uses, and like I say, you'll see it quite a lot in upcoming build videos, etc. Over the next coming months and years, hopefully. So there you go. The Badger battery powered paint mixer, uh, Aircraft.net. I've got it. Twelve pound ninety eight. Uh, highly recommend a bit of kit by me. Nice simple tool, but does exactly what it says on the box. So there you go guys. Thanks for short, watching the short review. Uh, I'll catch you next time and I'll see you guys on the forum.